Roger, you have been incredibly right in terms of what the Fed will do. You've kind of telegraphed that all along the way. They've been doing what you've been telling us they would. So what do you think happens this time around? Well, look, I think the market is priced in a pause. I agree with that. Um, I think the last time I was on, before I mentioned the concept of a hawkish pause, I heard Steve mention that as well. I think where I disagree with the market is I see not one, but prob the possibility of two more hikes after this one uh, with no uh, reversal this year. And so I think the market's generally directionally correct, but again, a little optimistic that the Fed may be done sooner <clears throat> than the data would allow. Why, why do you think that? Um, because I see a great deal of forward momentum. Uh, we've talked about, you just talked about the Bank of America study. Uh, I know that there's a question about the strength of the consumer, but recognize it's against the backdrop of a really tight labor market. Uh, wages are still rising uh, in many sectors. Uh, and so I th and inflation is still, you know, certainly hot, hotter than the Fed would like. Uh, so I think the big picture, while there's a great deal of concern about movements here and there, um, is one of forward momentum consumers that are doing well, uh, and indeed inflation is too high. And I think the Fed's probably going to have to move uh, twice more before they feel totally comfortable that they've gotten this one under control. Roger, we have Kevin Warsh joining us a little later this morning. He's got a new op-ed in the Wall Street Journal, and the, the thrust of it is a little concerning. He, he thinks that even though we seem to think we've gotten the all clear when it comes to the banking sector, there are a lot of issues at play that could really damage the banks and push us into much bigger problems. I mean, part of what he talked about is if the Fed goes to 6 percent. Um, also talked about commercial real estate, the problems that could pop up. But he, he painted it back and reminded everybody what happened back in 2008 when you had Bear Stearns that went bust in March of 2008, and everybody thought that was a one-off. But then come the fall of 2008, that's when everything else kind of uh, fell and collapsed. He thinks the Fed needs to take some, or the, the, the government needs to take some regulatory policy changes that would allow banks to consolidate, um, and that would allow banks to recapitalize because he worries that more problems could pop up. Are you someone who shares that concern? I'm certainly someone who shares a concern that the, uh, the all clear on the banking system is premature. I agree with that. I think there are banks that are going to need to have more capital for sure. We've seen that move very slowly, but the flip side of the Fed having to raise more is that it increases pressure in the sector. Uh, so I think it's important to call that out. It is part of the risk management challenge that the Fed is currently confronting. You know, having said all of that, you know, the process in the banking system has unfolded relatively slowly after, you know, three big bank failures. I'm not ignoring them whatsoever. Uh, but we've seen things seem to stabilize. But I, would, I agree with, with Kevin. Too early to say, you know, that risk is no longer on the table. It's one of the risks the Fed's going to have to balance as they look at this pause and think through, you know, where exactly they are. But if you are calling for an additional two rate hikes after this, you must think inflation is a bigger risk than bank failures? I think that's what the Fed likely thinks. Um, there will be other tools to focus on on the bank failure world. And obviously that cuts across not just the Fed, but also the Treasury, potentially the FDIC. And I think the Fed believes that it has uh, opportunities to do both things simultaneously. They may be uh, you know, a little uh, um, you know, off a bit in thinking that monetary policy is separate from financial stability pol policy. But I think they're going to keep their eye on inflation first and look for other tools to deal with financial stability.